two of the absolute best technicians in this business at this level or any other competing now and and you know this is an important match not just for pride not just because it's a dream match that we all want to see but the other thing that you got to figure is in the back of at least Makabe's head is not only does he wrestle Robert Martyr tomorrow night at TW Sink or Swim but he is supposed to challenge and will challenge the winner of tonight's AC Mac Eric Royal World Championship matchup on Monday night at Uncharted Territory in the TWE Arena. If Henry is able to defeat him, he does not cut in line, that's not how that works, but it would put him in play for a very, very quick world title opportunity regardless of what happens for the rest of this weekend. So that's something you gotta think on early on as these two struggle for positioning early on in this. This is gonna be a chess match, Moes. Yeah, I'm just in awe right now of the how clean all, every motion is between these two. Nice inside leg trip. Creating some space there. Stepping on one ankle, twisting on the other. Space those legs out. Makes it difficult to defensively grapple like that when your appendages are shoved far away. Not a great leverage position if you're Makabe on the ground there. Not often you see Makabe in a defensive position at all, really. No. Anthony flows over now. Very, very quickly. Some distance. These guys respect each other. Very, very much. Match both of these competitors wanted. Yeah, first time ever. How crazy is that? Rides him down. Henry. Got a waist lot there. Did not have the grip you ideally want. Ooh. Uh, through the back door. Nice. Couple of he's had a couple of leg trips early on. Able to. So far, he's been able to take down. Oh, nice counter by Makabe. I started to say Henry's been able to take him down at will early on, and that may be the case, but the issue, like with Dominic Greeny, is that even when he's on the ground, he's dangerous most. Very dangerous. The smallest of cracks, and this is over. Anthony, though, you know, in the best shape of his life, you can see you know, how he's transformed his body. Straight up burly boy now, so he's got, I mean, we know how good they both are fluid uh, on the map, but I'm curious how that that little bit of size you know he's got is going to weigh into this. Yeah, great take. That, well, I think that may have contributed to him being able to take down Makabe at will in those opening moments. But uh, another thing about Daniel you got to keep in mind, I think a lot of guys forget this. We talked about this in our opener tonight. He's deceptively tall, yes. which means his wingspan, and I've seen this many times in his matches, his wingspan is something he knows how to use to his advantage most. So that's something Henry's got to be cognizant of as well. While Henry does have that extra weight, that extra muscle mass, the wingspan of Makabe could play the favor. Look for maybe a double wrist lock variation. I'm not sure he's got it. No, it looks like he's got a grip. Slightly different grip. Daniel, though. Great counter. Oh, Henry gotta, landed on his toes. Got a woe out of Daniel Makabe. A Brit, man, the, the neck strength of Henry to do what he just did. Oh, he's, he might be looking for STF. That's, I mean, you can submit somebody this way. Releases it, transitions into a cross face. Yeah, he's using Daniel's own arm. Daniel Kabe able to, well, you know what? The wingspan played the advantage there, I think, because Henry, to his credit, put his body between Daniel and the ropes. But good defensive wrestling by Makabe, able to sweep and then use those longer legs to his advantage to get that rope break. This is not pure wrestling rule, rules, so you got as many rope breaks as you want. But Nick, you don't want to. That's that little feather in the cap, though. You make your opponent go for that rope with these yep, games. Yep. And you don't oh, absolutely. Get that. Chess match, like we said. Want to reverse. Oh. Left arm of Anthony Henry. Daniel just snatched that. Come underneath. Neither guy, particularly when they've been standing, has really, oh man. I'm dizzy. Oh! Come out. Daniel points to the brain. Neither guy was have really, what we saw a similar thing with the waist lock earlier. Not a clear advantage from either man.
Anthony happy to take a few seconds. Yeah, why not? Yeah, oh. I, I, I think that's smart. Daniel. I mean, I think I think that was a smart decision by Anthony Henry. Why not? Rope Danny. Oh, he's oh he finally no, broke no. the bed. Oh, what's this? What? <laughs> I've never seen that as a counter. Makabe floated through and basically did a body scissors that caused Henry to have to drop that leg assisted neck crank. I don't know what the heck you call it. Say, it's, a, it's violent as it's, ever, and we've seen Anthony hit it a million a, times. Calls an, I call it an unwanted spinal adjustment. Mm. Probably able to avoid it there. I believe that fan said, they say Dan? I don't know. And then Henry's fired up. No comment. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't think that guy'd take one. I think he'd empty his bowels if he took one, frankly, but. Medic. The, the oh, head geez. movement of caught it. Anthony Cotto. Oh, oh man. Body shot there. Oh, he got that arm. He just reached and just grabbed that wrist. Just grabbed it. Look through. The Maestro Cradle. Two. Oh, he stuck with it. He stuck with it right into a choke attempt. Does he kind of quite have. He might be looking for cattle mutilation there. And he absolutely is. Ooh. Now he's thinking perhaps a Yeah, into a pin attempt. Man, that's the thing about Makabe is he so quickly can transition from one attack to another. Oh, Henry holds through. And again, he's, man, he's looking for that cattle mutilation again. Oh, he's got it. Henry trying to posture up. That's what he's got to do. Yeah, he's able to do it. He's able to use that. Oh, God! He was able to posture up using his head. We talked about the neck strength of Henry early on in this. Man, now that neck, that's, that's going to be a problem. It's a huge target. Yes. That's going to be a problem. Oh, oh my God! God. That's, it. that's it. That That's it. Two, two straight. Oh, I thought we were going to see two straight matches. In with a stuff pile driver. The damage done to Daniel. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. This guy is supposed to wrestle for the world title on Monday night. I, I don't like his odds of escaping this match with a victory, frankly. But even if he gets to that match, the damage on this neck at this point. Ah, uh -oh. oh, jeez. And he's probably just trying to scramble. Just trying to defensively scramble. And he, man, he almost had that wrist again. Every single thing you do against Daniel McC has to be earned. He's constantly moving his hands, his body in strange ways. Very, very difficult. But Henry is in the driver's seat. Yep. Look at that. Floats over. Trying to force him down. Again, Henry used nice. that neck strength of Henry has really been the story of this match mode in critical moments. It's helped him evade. Oh God! It's helped him evade, helped him counter, helped him put together offense. It's such a weird thing to note, but really, I think at this point, that's been the difference in this match. Henry's ability to bridge and counter off that neck and off those traps again, cranking that neck. And the neck of Makabe might be the other story of this. In the opposite direction. Well, I mean, I'd be done, but. Ooh, still going. Now, don't, don't. Uh, 
Dalton, you can't sleep on Makabe as a striker. Oh, he's going for that big unit punch. That's how he beat Hoodfoot. It's up recently. Oh, man. Just ran through the impact there. Into a cover. Two. And we, we, you could hear Daniel howling in pain from here. Back to the neck. Trying to. Yeah, Daniel's just trying to keep him. He's up. just trying to cover up. He's yeah. trying to, I mean, you can't really call that a turtle, but it, it, it has the same effect. Just trying to scramble from underneath. It's going to become something to watch working, with the referee shiny shoes. Working for hands, working for wrist control. Just trying to manipulate some, do whatever he can. The, const tackling. the constancy, I don't know if that's a word, but McCauley is so constant at trying to counter that I think sometimes guys end up dropping holds out of a perceived disadvantage they're not even in yet. It, oh, I'm going to this ankle here. It's an interesting strategy. Big up kicks at Anthony Henry. Oh, wait. Tried to G it up again. Didn't get it this time. It's a couple times he's gone for that punch, unable to do so. It's a leg kick. It's up. European uppercut. He, sometimes we see him do that drop kick in the right corner. Right to the top rope. All the way. Oh, man. The third time's the charm. That might be it. That's how he beat Hoodfoot. This is how he beat Hoodfoot Nashville. Two, three. Oh, man. High heat, bro. That was nasty. The flow, how efficient Anthony Henry was, but as good as Daniel McCabe is, showed right there. Got all of it. Incredible. And McCabe first to his feet. Yeah, he, this is really an opportunity for him. Been wrestling defensively for most of the oh, leg traps. Henry likes to go for that double whack dragon screw there. They're scrambling. This yeah, is like Greco Roman there. style wrestling here. Oh, oh big drop oh. kick! Henry's still on his feet though. Are they up? Belly to back! And here, Henry's right back up. But man, he's hurting. You can see his face up and over, floats through into a cover. Two! Sticks with it! Got to hold that arm. Oh, Anthony Henry. No, he got caught. No, no, no. It, that might have been a little too fancy for his own good there. Trying to roll away from the pressure. Might have rolled into something else. Henry counters it. Ah, yeah, yeah, there you go. Thank a lot. Legend. And he, yeah, ideally you want to sit out on that. Not able to do so in time. Oh, armbar! Armbar! Henry, man, he scrambles. Got an MMA background. Yeah, you see it. Yeah, you really, you really, you really do in these moments. An you really so do in these Daniel. moments. <laughs> what a takedown. Oh, both of them. Well, I'm not sure who's got. Oh, those leg locks are gross, bro. That could tear at your ACL. I mean, that could that could tear This is that goes the wrong way. Yeah, both of these guys. Oh. This is a test of wills. Sometimes you see guys striking back and forth. These guys are pulling at each other's joints back and forth right now. I think they're kind of out to the apron. The momentum kind of stopped. There we are. They just have mana shiny shoes. Well, nobody wants to see this in the deep. Oh, oh, God! That, that was real bad. That happened right in front of us. This is a hard floor. There's no give at all. The sound that made you. Yeah, that, I mean, bodies. that happened about, I don't know, 12 feet in front of us, maybe, give or take. Uh, we might have had the best view. Sadly. And I think on top of the fact that they fell the, you know, the three feet down from the canvas, it looked to me that they landed right on their knees. We tried to shoot this up, I think, the four or five here. I mean, we've already seen one inconclusive ending tonight. I don't particularly want to see another. Not no count out. Hamakami's oh, in. Very close. A little bit of. Uh, I, I don't. I'm just gonna say I think Daniel would have been really relieved to win there on a count out. May not have loved it. 
But he showed a little bit there when uh, when Anthony got back in of frustration. A little bit of fr well, that neck's bothering him. Look, I mean, he came up and that neck is still bothering him to stay nothing, perhaps, of his legs. God knows what else after that tumble to the floor. He's walking gingerly. He's walking on the back. He's really back footed right now. Kind of resetting the NES, standing up on this one. And the not a championship match, but kind of a championship round scenario. Great sprawl from Henry, and he roped him in. And he got those knees. Big knees. Man, there's been some body shots in this match. Daniel! What a takedown. It's like a judo throw. Oh, he's going again. Second time's a choke! God! Second time's a charm on that double dragon screw. Big Lariat! Turn it inside out! Look at Bray Buster, he got all it! Two and no! Oh, he's got to hold him up! Ah, shell shot! Reminder, Anthony Henry defeated Alex Shelley in this building last time we were here! Woo! Anthony just got that shoulder up in the nick of time. What is that? I don't know what to call that! Extremely painful. Torture. Oh, but Anthony's oh, got the arm! Oh, he almost stole one. He really almost stole God. That was to the almost to the kidneys there. And this is gonna do it! Oh, and that, he's won many a match this way! That's how he beat Brandon Williams in that short of territory! That's how he beat Kyle Matthews in this building! Man, Makati's gotta utilize those legs. Oh my god. Those long legs saved him again. If, he, if, if, if he's two inches shorter, that's the end of the match. The, the wherewithal in that moment, the wherewithal in that moment, Mose, of Makabe to utilize his size and, and just his wingspan to save him. But you know, it's cliche. Survival is not winning. Oh my God! If he gets that neck again, that's three times. That three times. I didn't count the pile driver. Oh, let's go for Gotch. Yeah, if he gets that, it's over. If he gets that, it's over. And Macaulay's just desperately trying to dead weight this thing all the way through. Oh God! Anthony gets that arm out. Oh! And now Daniel may have knocked his shoulder out. He was looking for a triangle, didn't get it, went one more time! Daniel's got that arm. To a vertical. He's, got, he's got that arm trap. Look at Octopus! Look at Octopus! Anthony able to Switch fight. his side. Yeah, he couldn't get it from that side. He wanted it from that side and he couldn't get it. Sunset. Oh, that, that's coming! Woo! What is this? Sprawling. A, We're sprawling. Is that a magic trick? Oh, how, hey. how did he end up in that? He is he's trying to trap that arm. Oh, he just trapped it behind his body. He just trapped it behind his body in the cradle. That's it! Holy crap! I don't even know what to call that other than a magic trick! Makabe with a banged up neck, leg that's got to be bothering him, flew across the continent to be here tonight and to be here this weekend the challenge for the world title, which he will do on Monday night against the winner of tonight's main event. But he had to get through Anthony Henry, and he does it. Not able to submit. I don't know if anybody can submit Anthony Henry. But he had him in that submission, in that position. He had trapped in that submission. I think made the conscious decision to trap that arm and go with the pin attempt instead and get the Duke in a crazy match, a great match here, live on IWTV tonight. Use that hashtag, Action Ship. Let us know what you think about that, but between two of the best in the world, no hyperbole.
Anthony Henry, Daniel McCauley, two of the best doing it anywhere. Independent wrestling, on the anywhere.